All right, welcome to episode number 30 of the Road to SSL series. In the last episode, we had quite an interesting experience doing a live stream of the first Road to SSL of the uh, the series, I think, uh, live. Uh, and we're doing another episode live here. We got Grand Champion 1, Division 4 in 2v2, Champion 2, Division 3 in 3v3, and we're hoping to push into that uh, Champ 3, maybe even GC1 before the end of the season of Rocket League. Before we get into the episode, we have to the meme of the day. And today we have Rattlesnake. I am so sorry for this one. Uh, I'm not even posting this one on Twitter. <laughs> it's, it's bad. All right, we got twos. We got Epsom against Salt. Wait, Epsom Salt. And we got Shadow. What are the chances of having Epsom and Salt on, t on both teams? All right, let's see if he wants to keep controlled here. I'm going to watch mid. It's a good pass, but Shadow's going to be ready for it. So I can't really go on this yet. It's a pass down the field, or pop down the field, but I'm going to be there first. So I should win that ball. It's a good, powerful shot down the field. Let's see if Saul can get it. I'm going to go for this immediately and try to get towards target, but they do cut it off pretty soon. Both of them jump up. I'll let them do that instead of going for the ball myself. See if Shadow follows it. He does. I have space on this ball. I'll pop it off the wall first. I hope my teammate would be ready in the mid, but... He does decide to back off, so I'll just get the mid boost. He's pretty low boost, and I see that. You have a pretty slow recovery after he makes this play, so I'm going to try and stall for him if I can. It's a good pop down the field. Might be able to take a shot, but it's off target. Good clear. Now, I know they're going to be trying to pan they're gonna be panicking, so I'm just going to hit this in the air. Go for an air dribble, and it's on target. There we go. I could add more more air rules as sooner or later in the series, um, but right now, like simple, like one two touch is usually all it takes to get this in, even in GC one. If you have good control and good touches, sh you should have the space to outplay p opponents when they're going back and panicking. Hopefully, Epson can get this boost. He did not get it. It's a good play from them. Epson's gonna be very low now, so I'm gonna try and recover as soon as possible. Bit of a heavy touch does put it in the corner. So Epsom should be okay in this situation. He's panicking quite a bit though. There's nobody near him. Go for a challenge when they pop it up nice and high. I'm not even going for the ball here. I'm just going for the boost. I could turn on this ball if I wanted to, but my teammate should be ready. And I could probably get a big wall clear here if I go for the ball immediately or just stay with it. I, I noticed that when I went for that, I was maybe intending to go for a wall clear. But in that situation, it was more comfortable to go for a catch. All really close to try. Let's get the, the boost here. It's a good demo. Good follow up. They do put it off target though, so I do have time to grab this back corner boost. Just wait for Epson to make a challenge of some sort. There you go. I was waiting for the play. A lot of people try to like outplay in that like little moment where they might challenge. I'm kind of just sitting patiently waiting for their touches. Nice space in this ball here. I don't think this, this shadow guy is going to challenge. I do have a little bit of time to get a, a flick set up. Or a 50-50. He, he went really, really early on the uh, the challenge. So I kind of just like let the ball fall off my car. I was going to try and ship that down to the, the left side. Yeah, Epsom and Salt definitely have to team up, man. This is uh, interesting that they're together in one lobby. It's so funny to me. All right, good. I see he's controlling to the back corner. I'm going to grab this other right so he has full boost. Because when he's flipping into that corner, I don't want to take the boost from him when he's low. Because he's going to be stuck with nothing. And I could definitely control the ball away to give him time. But I don't don't need to uh, do that to him. It's a good first touch. Can he get a second one? Try and go for the bump. They do end up just missing. So we get a free goal. And I don't mind watching as my teammate outplays them. All right, I'm going to cheat up quite strong here, actually. But it goes over my head. And they could go for a shot here to try and clear off the wall. I'm still last man, but that touch is going to be in a spot where we don't need to make a touch because Shadow's getting our, our corner. He's backing off. I have space here. Go for an early chip, and there's a chance. It was off post, though. Nice finish. Yeah, we're just like outpacing the opponents on on their defensive side. They had some good offensive ch uh, chances, but they're just not like making good touches. Like right there, let go of possession. It was safe in the corner. It wasn't really in a spot where you had to make a pop or a touch. It's just rolling safely in the corner. And a lot of the times, you don't need to make a touch. You can just like keep it close. Hey, fellow Canadian. You debu? I debu. Do you debu? 
<laughs> what is Dabu? <laughs> <laughs> what is the boo? I'm never gonna know. That's actually really bothering me. This guy's not going. We can wait. Okay, we're here. Good first touch. That's over the backboard. So it's gonna be awkward, but I can try to read it off the touch there. And my teammate is zero, but he should be able to make some sort of touch. Oh, that's not the best touch though. Just pop it up. Looks like Killer wasn't really, uh, wasn't really ready for the next shot though. Good challenge. That's good control. I would have had a, a, a decent boom and clear though. Either way works. Maybe one more touch. Okay, so I see that this guy is on the ground. He's ready for it underneath the ball, but he lets go of possession there. Now I can turn. Trying to avoid bumps. Just trying to slow down the play, make it awkward, and maybe get a bump on this guy right here. Good flick. Should be them to save it, though. This is going to be starting starting off our pressure. He's very low. Should we go to mid? Hopefully my teammate can turn on this. Oh, he did get it a little too aggressive, though. If he's going to push up there, he has to commit at that point because he's already out of the out of the game. I could have not probably 50 into the guy. I could have I tried to pop it over him, but it's good patience by them. I think he grabs that boost. Oh, he didn't get it. Uh, so I, my positioning now is kind of awkward because I played off that assumption that he was going to get that boost because then I can go get the corner instead. This boost should spawn in like two seconds. There it is. Knowing your boost timings is very, very important in this game. If you can get used to the 10 second timer in your head, uh, you'll be golden. I think counting to 10 is one of the strongest things I've learned from this this game. That's a really good play from them. Really good, really good speed. Didn't expect them to catch the ball so well on this next touch. It was a bit of an awkward 50 too. Like I, I, I didn't really want to go into that 50 because it was it would have just been really bad for us. I should have just committed though, in that position, at that point. Let's see if anyone challenges me. Big flick should be up. Teammates pushing. Let's see if he follows it. I'm gonna chip this off the corner if I can, and then hopefully my teammate can go for this. Get a demo. It's a bit high. Oh, good save. Last second reaction. They both miss. I have a chance to shoot this and hit this on the left side, and we score. So a lot of a lot of um, a lot of things about like open nets is just having the consistency to shoot it with power in those opening spots and knowing where the opponents can get to the ball when they're panicking because they are panicking in that situation. Is a flip reset? Should be saved though. There we go. It is a let go of possession though. But they also let go of possession. Let's see what Dobby, the house elf, does on the wall. He hits it back. It's fine. I could have controlled that, obviously. Just seeing what they do with the defensive position on the backboard. I fake this. I have lots of space. It's totally fine. Spoosh should hopefully spawn. I, I think I didn't time it well. Yeah, I didn't time it well enough. There's just a half a second. Hit this up nice and high. Looks like my teammate has a touch. If he makes a touch here or doesn't make a touch, both are fine. So I'm going to grab the corner boost. I'm just letting them touch these balls. My teammate should be... <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, just gonna let, let this fall to myself. Follow it up. This guy's out of the game. This guy's not going. Good try. I'm gonna keep it in the corner. Maybe another touch here. Oh. Good 50. Okay, Dobby's not going, so my teammate can turn on this. He is very low though. That's a great pass. That's a really good, really good idea there. He's low boost, so I know he's not really gonna be able to take a really powerful shot, and he knows that too. He just stays close to it. Just pops the middle, and then I can shoot that on the far side. Because the Dobby's there's no way Dobby can react to that. I'm gonna fake this. I have space. Pop it up early here and try to go for the bump if I can. Oh, close. Might still be open. Ooh, tough. It was open, but hit it a little too strong. Good 50. Hopefully my teammate can turn on this right here. He is low. I like that he's trying to conserve some boost. Good positioning from them. I should beat him here. I'm going to grab this corner boost and then try to get behind my teammate, who should maybe challenge at some point. 
A little scary. Good fake. I was scared of an instant challenge from Dobby. That would have been really smart from him. Um, that's why I popped it super early. Because we're both on top of each other. There's no way we can really crowd, like get back when we're crowding each other like that. Should be okay. Doesn't need to touch it, but he does touch it. I'm gonna leave that boost for, oh, you got bumped, so I'll take it. Hit it towards target. My teammate is a little bit low, so I'll be a little bit careful with how I rotate back here. I'll let him force the ball back. I'm gonna oh, I tried to grab the boost, but end up... Oh, fake. Big flick. Should be a save. Good try on the double. I'm gonna fake him here, so he just pops it towards. Now I can go for a challenge. He, did, he ended up trying to like keep it patiently close to himself, but... Let go of the ball the last second. Face for my teammate. The hero play. No, he had it. He had it. Oh, no. I got I to gotta watch that one back. That's tough. Might have been zero. I didn't see. Pop off the backboard. Good patience for my teammate. I like that he didn't just immediately go for the back corner or back corner boost on the right side. We have a double here. That's a good bump. It's a good fake too, though. It might be open. Nice play. Yeah, it was a good bump. I tried to actually pump fake him, but he actually just drove into me really early. But really good, um, really good fake on the kickoff on the on the kickoff on the 50-50 uh, there, and it ended up zooming down the field. Let's see, uh, let's see what happened on that kickoff. Or not the kickoff. Oh my, I keep saying kickoff. What is wrong with me? Feather in your recap. Nice, dude. What a what achievement. All right, let's see it. Zero seconds. The outplay. Oh! <laughs> That's tough. If he just kept uh, boosting, he would have had it. That's unfortunate. It happens. All right, we have 2v2 again. We got Heck. And then BKM86. And forts. This is game number three, I believe. Let's get into it. I'll chip this around this one player and then try to go for a, a dribble play. Good try. Bit of a let go of possession, but not not a horrible position to be in. That's a really good uh, bump. Good challenge. There we go. I'm trying to keep this soft and close to me. Double jump into it, and that's all we needed to do. So once we had the position under the ball, I just watched for the ball cam indi or ball indicator on the ground. And what I'm trying to do is just angle my car uh, to uh, hit that to the top left. I do have uh, the win here if I go, but I'd rather just force them in with zero boost. Staying close here. Waiting for one of them to challenge. Hit this across. Might not be the best chance. Good fake. Hit this back to my teammate. We have so much space on the field now. This guy just hit the ball away. Okay, hit this forward. It's faking him a little bit. Just staying close to the ball. It's a good 50 from them, though. Bobbing. Staying close. Just trying to play like, just trying to fake them a little bit. Just get in their way. Make it really awkward for them. Nice try for my teammate. Should be a bounce off the mid here. Maybe pass this back across. Finish it. Nice. Yeah, we're just trying to play it around them. Trying to play close. Force them into spots where they're uncomfortable. Like those times where I'm sitting close to the ball and just trying to get at 50s, the the opponents are uncomfortable because they're barreling into these challenges while we have all the space and time. Let's see what happens here. I think Fort's gonna get that boost. I'm just gonna move back. Wait behind him. It's off and there's nobody to shoot. It's a good demo. Should we save it in the corner? Looks like my teammate's gonna get mid. Maybe he'll turn. Good challenge. 
But now I am waiting for him to return. He needs to maybe cut for me. If that works, I'll hit it to the corner. Get a clear here. Wait for them to make a touch or maybe not make a touch. I like that Heck just left the ball for me. Waiting for them to challenge, maybe. Heck still has full boost in mid, though. So he, he's, he's definitely able to cover a lot of the positions that uh, go wrong, which is good. A good positioning from him. This is a good shot, though. Yeah, unfortunately, Heck was a little bit too far forward. I was also not ready for that next touch. I was trying to force him into something. This touch was probably could have been better if I hit it off the corner instead of off the sidewall, because it goes back into a shot. Get the boost, but he's probably going to try and stay with this. He's very low. And that's his last touch right there. So now I have free ball and free possession, and Forts is going to be in a last man situation. Good pop. That's a good save from uh, BK here. It's not a bad 50-50 because it goes back to me in the corner. It's a bit awkward if I don't like get an immediate touch in the corner like this. And I have space. Good try. Just trying to fake them. Don't really, don't really want to try and pass that because I'm just going to flip into their corner. Just want to stay close. This guy might have this. Maybe not though. Once again, I am last man, so I don't really want to go. Like, I could barrel into that, and maybe I could beat them, but then my teammate's still recovering for boost. Great save. Played their corner. Just trying to get in the way a little bit. Should be heck to return the clear. Great touch. Looks like heck's not on this side, so I'm going to try and stay with this ball. Just try and get an awkward touch. Hopefully my teammate can be the next one too. Looks like he isn't, but he does. The other guy does miss, and I'll just shoot it down the field. What are these? What are these like fake quick chats? Also, what is that quick chat? Like, what is he trying to? He's trying to call him. Up. I can't even. I don't know. I don't even know if I can say that on on YouTube. What is happening? Because he got the demo. Maybe he can challenge. That's a great flick. Yeah, Heck needed to turn there. I also needed to grab that back corner boost. Ooh. Yeah, those are just like key, key difference in like knowing what to do with the ball in that position. Like Forts is very low boost. Just knowing that you can put that around after slowing down the play is, uh, I, I guess he's saying, is is that really demo in Spanish? Yeah, he's played he's play ground game there, though, because he's very low boost. Someone in my chat said that that's demo in Spanish, but I think he's, he's lying to me. A good bump attempt. Good save from Heck. I'm waiting behind. So I've been a little bit quiet in this game. I'm just kind of like w watching what's happening. I get cut off here, so I'm just going to back off. I have very low boost. Does miss the double. It's a good cut off. I have a little bit of space, though. It's a good demo. Hopefully, my teammate can try to cover this. It's not the greatest play for me. I think he hit the post. I played that a little bit too patiently. I try to keep it up. <laughs> well, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, definitely an interesting one. We had some pretty uh, pretty fast players in this one. I feel like we're definitely seeing some more skill come out here and there. Yeah, I definitely think he's just speaking a different language at this point. Um, I don't know why I have 927 points. I don't feel like I did that that much. But definitely got a few open goal opportunities just to make some shots that were uncomfortable. That, put, that, that play on that like low boost situation off kickoff. Those little pump fakes that I'm doing, I have the boost advantage. I know that. So I'm trying to play around it to get more power. But uh, yeah, just like a lot of things you can think about 
to get those opportunities to score more often. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one. All right, we have Rattlesnake today. So we've got a Rattlesnake, but we we kind of want it to be framed like this. So there's a bit of missing pieces at the top. So what I can do is go like this and do Content Aware Fill. I think I need to click an image to do that. So Content Aware, it's going to grab all that stuff to just fill a little more of the image. And there you go. So we now have full, a full image. I have a picture of Rettles here. We've used this one for the, uh, the what was the one that we did? Like the uh, the Freddles, I think it was, where he was playing a guitar. Probably the best angle we have. So let's grab this, even though the hair is insane. Let's go into uh, image. We go into adjustments, hue saturation. We're going into the master, out of the master, and going into blues. We're gonna desaturate all the blues. And then maybe, maybe we'll actually hue change them. A bit more natural looking like something around there i think and then we're gonna flip this guy around so it's like what is happening <laughs> okay uh let's do a soft erase i think let's um go like like that i'm gonna grab a section of this snake i'm gonna grab the tongue actually and i think i want to bring that up and just like extend the tongue a little bit oh <laughs> what is this surely that looks normal right kind of looks like his hair normally now yeah um so now what i want to do maybe desaturate we'll color overlay him i i think this is stupid bro <laughs> this is not good i mean i think that's as good as it's gonna get what has this turned into i hate this one i actually hate it you know what it is what it is there it is i'm i'm upset